Hi, it's Dan Trockman. Welcome to Moodle at the Blake School. What I want to show you today is a case in which uh, a music teacher, for example, is going to have audio files on their Moodle course. Uh, but those audio files should only be available to students who are enrolled in the course and not available to guests or from people outside on the internet. Uh, in this case, the course is an extension of the classroom and these files are being used uh, maybe by a band teacher or orchestra teacher um, or in an AP course in the case where students are to practice along with a piece of audio as an extension of the classroom and you want to remain as best as possible to be in compliance uh, with US copyright laws related to um, access to those. Uh, we're talking about fair use of copywritten materials. So I'm going to show you how we can take a single uh, a single topic, in this case topic right here that I have audio files, and turn that into a place where it is only available to students and not to guests, such as uh, either prospective students to the school or um, even parents who are not authorized users of this file. So here we go. What I'm going to first do is turn editing on. And I'm going to select one topic in my course uh, that's going to be uh, the place that's going to be the repository for those files. And in this case, I'm going to pick this topic right here. And I had renamed it Audio Files, but I want to be a little bit more specific. I'm going to rename it Audio Files uh, for use in class and put a little bit of uh, an explanation down here. It says, these files are not available except under use by a student who is logged into Moodle and has enrolled in this course at the school. And of course, you would fill it in with your own school, unless you're a teacher here at Blake, period. And I'm going to save changes. And after having saved those changes, because I have editing on, I can now take um, my audio file. So this is an audio file called the Pinball Lizard uh, .mp3. And I've just put it into the wrong one, so I'll delete it from there. Now you know how to delete files. I'm going to drop it into audio files for class use. It should automatically attach. And indeed, if I click on it, it'll play. So here's my little player. It's one, two, test one, two. So record, you can hear record, that it's record. This will be an MP3. Playing in the background, it's just a little MP3 I made for testing. I'm going to go back to audio files for use in class. And now I want to do a restriction. So in order to make that restriction, make sure that you are in the topic or the week uh, or the folder or the page for which you want to uh, restrict opening of files. Which I don't think it's a working page, but you want to restrict it um, from a topic or a week. And what I'm going to do then is go to administration. And from administration, we're talking about users here and user access. So I'm going to click on the users area and click on permissions there and wait. Okay, and it let me write into permissions. And I want to advanced roll override, and I'm going to make an override, uh, make an override for uh, guests. So I have guest access turned on, and then over here there are lots of options for things that I can um, change. But I want to filter it for a resource. That's what folders or files, I spelled right, for a resource in Moodle. And I go down to activity, file. Add a new resource. No, nope. guests can't add new resources anyway. So keep looking. URL, add a new one. Nope. Activity file. There it is. View resource. I want to make sure that um, right now you can see that guests are allowed to view allowed to view resources in Moodle pages and in specifically specifically um, in this section. But I want to turn this topic and I want to say prevent. So I'm now preventing the file viewing um, in this by guest. When I'm all done, I save my changes. And let's check it. Let's make sure that you as a teacher who has relatively similar rights for reading that a student does. I'm going to go back to my litter box page here. I'm going to turn editing off. I'm going to go down here to audio files for, for use in class. And I open that up and I can see that pinball lizard by the what is available for me. Um, so I'm going to log out. Let's let's try this again as as guest. Okay, so log out. Oh, 
right, this is what a parent does to get to your course. Hmm, let's see, test courses. Litter box, say, oh, you want in? Oh, you want to log in as guest. And if I click on audio files for in-class use, my first, my first sign, notice it doesn't say there's any files available. And if I click on there, indeed, empty. So uh, material can still be there. The words are there. But indeed, the only people who can open that up are authenticated users in your class.